Hello everyone and welcome to our very special Christmas video, a guide to cat proofing your Christmas tree and keeping your cat safe at Christmas. We wanted to have a bit of festive fun with this one but please remember at all times there is a serious message behind it. So let's begin. Tis the month before Christmas and soon to appear will be tinsel and baubles and much festive cheer. Now while many humans are eager for that there's much to consider if your home has a cat. See, the problem with Christmas, if of feline kind, are the hazards it brings with what they might find. The trees and the tinsel, the flowers and food, can be harmful to cats, but we won't dull the mood. We know you might not want to get a fake tree, but they're better for felines and your sanity. Because all the reasons we're just about to share will mean a much safer Christmas for the cat in your care. For deterring your cat from your tree, there's a trick. The answer is simple, get it out quick. But hold back on decorating for a few days more. Exploring's first thrilling, but then it's a bore. And then, if you can, don't place your tree near. A surface to launch from, some cats have no fear. Now the height of a tree is a serious matter. Cats like to climb and cause a great clatter. Up to the top they can rise in a flash which if not balanced properly can cause a great crash. So steady your trees with a strong sturdy base. Use some weights if you have to, you can't be too safe. But oh, what to do if you have a real tree? The oils may cause some harm to cats, you see. Watch out for them licking or eating tree parts. Beware fertilizers and food for the plants. The needles from real trees that fall on the floor are something to notice and not to ignore. So pick them up quickly, there's nothing to gain from allowing those needles to cause your cat pain. Cats don't like citrus or noisy tinfoil. They make good deterrents and make cats recoil. So place on your base so as to keep them away. You can even add pine cones to keep paws at bay. When it comes to the lights, there's an answer to the riddle of where best to hang them. It's right in the middle. By hanging them close to the trunk of the tree, they'll be much less tempting to moggies, you see. But wires can also be troublesome too, so cover with plastic or old cardboard tubes. And do not forget, when leaving your home, to turn off the lights so they'll leave them alone. Now tinsel and baubles and candles and lights, mistletoe and ivy are tempting delights. The baubles that hang are a pleasure to bash, but the glass ones are fragile and likely to smash. Decorations are better if paper or wood Less shiny and tempting, less risk, which is good. The best thing to do is decorate high, where mischievous paws can only but try. Now do not place gifts for cats under the tree. Their eyes will shimmer and sparkle with glee. Because if there's some catnip contained in the gift, they may eat the wrapping. You'd better be swift. The tinsel can also be hazardous too. If cats are to swallow, a blockage may ensue. Again, place this high and avoid tiny decks so your kitties can't choke and cause you regret. So now you should have a right safe Christmas tree, but we're not finished yet. No, no. Just wait and see. Now we turn our attention to flowers and food, of which some have potential to dampen the mood. We're being serious now and not at all silly. The most poisonous plant to the cat is the lily. If eaten or absorbed, it won't just make them ill. If not treated quickly, it's going to kill. We're not even joking. If they're in a bouquet, best advice we can give you is keep them away. Another that's harmful to cats is Ponsettia. Berries from holly and mistletoe aren't much better. Amaryllis and dumb cane can also cause harm. So keep them away, save yourself from alarm. The Christmas foods that can get cats into scrapes are onions and raisins and chocolates and grapes. So to avoid any sickness for cats we do preach, please, 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 please keep these all out of reach. One thing to remember at this time of year is the laughter and frolics, the noise and the cheer can be quite, quite scary for a dear little cat. But of course, there is plenty we can do about that. First thing to do, give them somewhere to hide. A hide and sleep, a box, but nothing too wide. What may be worthwhile is a pheromone diffuser. It'll help them relax. It's an excellent soother. Somewhere away from the noise, place a tray of litter to take your cat's worries away. The above will reduce as much as possible your cat's stress and hopefully avoid any unwelcome mess. 
We hope that you've learned that at Christmas it's fine to have decorations and trees and good times. But for cats, it can be quite a troublesome season. So to have a great Christmas, it just stands to reason that what you should do is keep cats in your mind, be aware of all of the things they might find. So the last thing to say, and I say with great might, is Merry Catmas to all, and to all a good night. Ha 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 ha!